Schwartz place, getting ready to unload some large railroad ties for fence posts. All right, happy Sunday. Getting rid of past baggage. Uh, this is all the leftover soffit, plastic and aluminum, and the custom cedar color siding. And I told the neighbors, I'm like, this is going in a junk pile or a dumpster. So unless you want it, you know, because it matches the cabin. So, and he agreed to take that tire skin because he works at an auto shop. So win-win. One, one less thing to remind us of things and keep the cleanup going. It's not heavy by any means. It's just kind of long and awkward. This is just a pawn, but it's another chess move. Oh, yeah. Oh. And to show the new homeowner, you know, what is possible with this lake. Got one. Oh, that's a big one. This way, camper management plan works. So recently we had Jeff come back and treat our two ponds because they're they were starting to get back out of control and we're getting ready to list the house so we wanted them to look pretty nice uh, and be in good shape to list our illinois house i'll put a link in the description uh, to the full length video you know about everything you need to know about what he does to treat ponds and manage them so let's keep going on the farm vlog lots to get updated on I wish I had a self-leveling loader. I really miss having that. Oh, oh. And another update is that we just closed on our new 280-acre uh, Missouri farm yesterday. So I'll put a link in the description. That's all documented on Kepper Outdoors 2.0, but we're looking forward to our next adventure in life. Uh, it's a it's gonna be a big thing, but it's gonna be fun and exciting. So hope you join us over on that channel. Thank you very much. All right, dropped the tractor off. Now I'm headed back out to the cabin site. Pull a bunch of stumps for the neighbors. They got their new barn in place. It's beautiful. All right, I'm up at the neighbor's cabin. Uh, they just got this beautiful barn put in. But they need some grading space to get, get the water out of there, off the edge. But of course, these are uh, uh, black locust. They're, they're fairly stout stumps. Yeah, it ain't even budging, so I'll do some digging around here. Get it loosened up. Sharon raked out this little landscaping area here. It'd be nice to know if we were actually buying that farm this week or not. We don't know yet, so it's hard to still it's still hard to get motivated to do too much. But we had movers come yesterday. Um, they're going to give us a bid on you know packing and moving and that and the services. So we'll see. We still don't know right now. All right, got it on the ropes. Got it loosen a little bit. Oh, there we go. I'll probably just do these two that he needs done right away and come back later for the rest of them back here. Here we are at Schwartz Place, getting ready to unload some large railroad ties for fence posts. So it's kind of been a fire sale. We're selling everything we could possibly sell. <clears throat> now we don't have to haul to Missouri. Um, I'll, I'll have some kind of project videos if it seems kind of interesting, but these were bridge timbers that I, I had bought for our Illinois property, never got around to using. So. We're selling stuff like hotcakes, getting ready for our move. Fill in this Grand Canyon right here. Alright, I definitely don't like how close this one is to the brand new building. If you can see right here, I'm pulling up on this rut that's kind of holding it. But that root goes right towards the building, but 
but I'm sure they had to rip it, you know, for that footers and that, so... All right, so also recently I planted this, uh, the clearing, the new microplot that I made in the woods over the last few months, you know. I just pick away at stuff an hour or two at a time. Um, but I got this planted with buckwheat and fertilized and a mix of clover and perennials. That'll definitely be a project video. And we've gotten rain since since then, so it should be popping up really bright green here in the near future. So. Just trying to make our 22 acres in Illinois as good as it can be so we could sell it as fast as possible just to offload the debt so we can concentrate on the new Missouri farm. Maybe one day you too could be like your friend Joe the farmer. Maybe one day. Maybe one <laughs> day. All right, I'll uh, shut this camera off very quick. so that's kind of the update for now I mean we got a lot of moving parts right now like I said we just closed yesterday on Friday before Memorial Day weekend on the Missouri farm so now we're gonna like kick in go from first gear to like fourth gear finish the projects we got going to improve our property we're selling a bunch of stuff and we're looking forward to getting the move over with and then but I mean in the meantime uh, my stepdad literally just passed away yesterday. So um, I got to run to Missouri a couple days this week with some new updates because I, um, I do have a partnership worked out uh, with the new landowner on the land right next to us and the real estate agent. Uh, I'm trying to get to where I can use his big excavator. He's got a great big John Deere excavator and exchange... Uh, for some things over there and to try to improve the property that borders us so they could sell it a little faster and a little better. So if you know anyone looking for like a, a 10 out of 10, like beautiful, beautiful property, the parcels next to us are going to be for sale here. So you can contact us from, you know, any of our media sites and channels and all that. So stay tuned. Happy Memorial Day again to everyone out there, and take care. Hope to see you on a future update. And remember, dream big, whatever your dream is. It don't matter if it's land or whatever, and take some steps to go in the right direction. And eventually, you will succeed. All right, thanks a lot. Take care.